The Cosmic Visitor is on its way. Comet C-2023 A3 Suchin Shan Atlas has left its home in the Oort Cloud and set course for the Sun. As part of this, it will also make itself known to us in October, and we will probably even be able to marvel at the tail star with the naked eye. A unique event that no space fan should miss. But how did the experts track down the comet in the first place? What breathtaking things will be happening on the horizon in the coming weeks? And when should we keep a particularly close eye on the sky? Asteroids, comets, and meteorites. Although these terms are part of the basics of astronomy, the question arises as to what the difference is between all these cosmic flying objects. Well, Meteoroids, with a D, are objects in orbit around the Sun that are larger than interplanetary dust and smaller than asteroids. As soon as meteoroids enter the Earth's atmosphere, they interact with the air particles to produce a luminous phenomenon, which in turn is called a meteor, or shooting star. If the meteoroid does not burn up completely and reach the Earth's surface, experts refer to it as a meteorite, with a T at the end. Asteroids, on the other hand, are celestial bodies that have formed in a similar orbit to our Earth. Just like comets, asteroids embody a relic from the early days of the solar system, when the original dust agglomerated into objects several meters to kilometers in size. The planets later emerged from these so-called planetesimals, but not every one of these structures ultimately took a planetary path. The rest, which continue to orbit the Sun, today form the class of asteroids and comets. And while asteroids consist of solid materials such as rock and metal, most of them are located in the so-called asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. However, as these celestial bodies contain little or no volatile substances, they do not form a tail, unlike comets, which makes them practically invisible to the naked eye. However, at greater distances from the Sun, in the Kuiper belt or in the Oort cloud, Planetesimals could also contain volatile compounds such as ice and frozen gases. These gave rise to comets, which are sometimes referred to as dirty snowballs. And as soon as a comet leaves its freezing cold home and advances into warmer climes, the interaction between the solar wind and the comet forms a shell-like, nebulous envelope called a coma. In detail, this is created by the sublimation, or in other words, the immediate transition of a solid substance into the gaseous state of aggregation of highly volatile substances that entrain dust particles trapped in the ice. Ultimately, the components of the coma are blown away by the radiation pressure and the solar wind, giving the celestial body its unmistakable tail. And although such a comet's tail can sometimes be 100 million kilometers long, most comets are invisible to the naked earthly eye. One exception to this is Halley's Comet, which has been known to mankind for centuries and which, on average, approaches Earth every 75.3 years. The last time Halley's Comet came close to Earth was in 1986, and scientists have calculated that it will not be visible again until 2061. Fortunately, however, the visit of another comet is imminent, and anyone who looks up at the sky early in the morning in the first few days of October will be rewarded with a sight that they will probably never forget for the rest of their lives. The Comet of the Century We have only known since January 9, 2023, that we are about to receive a unique visit. This is when the comet was discovered on images taken by a telescope at the Purple Mountain Observatory in Shui, China. Initially classified as a potentially near-Earth asteroid, the analysis of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, revealed that the object had in fact formed a coma and tail typical of a comet. The comet was then recognized as such and given its combined, albeit somewhat unwieldy, name C-2023 A3 Suchin Chan Atlas, and it was immediately suspected of soon giving us a rare spectacle in the sky. Shortly after the comet was discovered, experts expected it to reach a brightness of 3 mag. A brief explanation. The apparent brightness of a celestial body is measured in magnitude, or mag for short. And the smaller the mag value, the brighter the object appears to us. And while the brightness of the comet was originally estimated at 3 mag, experts now believe that it could ultimately even reach a value of minus 3 mag. As a result, the luminous guest from the Oort cloud is sometimes touted as a potential comet of the century. But ultimately, only time will tell whether it really lives up to this title. In fact, the brightness of the celestial body simply cannot be predicted with absolute certainty. 
It depends heavily on its activities in the coming weeks. However, most researchers agree that it will be visible to the naked eye, and with a bit of luck, it could even outshine Comet C-2020 F3 Neowise, which could also be seen without technical aids in the summer of 2020. Will the comet break apart before it arrives? However, it should be noted at this point that the brilliant spectacle may be over before it has even begun. In this regard, the Czech-American astronomer Danek Sekanina has stated that the comet will probably disintegrate before it has even reached its closest point to the Sun. However, this gloomy prediction is anything but uncontroversial among experts. Other astronomers criticize Sekanina for ignoring the so-called phase angle of the comet in his article, and thus a decisive factor. As a result, the majority of experts still believe that the object will survive its approach to the Sun and form a breathtaking tail that can be seen from afar. As the object has never before reached such close proximity to the Sun, it is likely to still have a lot of ice in its core. This will evaporate on its journey through space, possibly making the comet appear particularly bright and large. At the same time, however, it is precisely this large amount of ice that poses the greatest danger to the celestial body, according to Sekinina. This means that the ice could make the comet unstable and ultimately cause it to break apart. Well, we will soon know which scenario really happens, but in principle, a comet appears brightest to us when it is close to the Earth and the Sun at the same time. In the case of the rare gas from the Oort cloud, Calculations have shown that it will reach its closest point to the Sun, known as perihelion, on September 27, 2024. At this point, it will be just under 60 million kilometers away from our host star, roughly the distance between Mercury and the Sun. Nevertheless, comet hunters in our latitudes will still have to be patient. As the object is located below the ecliptic, or in other words, the planetary plane, it will initially only be visible in the southern hemisphere when you should keep an eye on the sky. The comet will not appear in the sky over Germany until the beginning of October. And if you want to admire it for yourself, you should definitely set an alarm clock and look to the east early in the morning before sunrise, where its impressive tail will adorn the horizon. On October 1st, the comet rise is expected at 6.01. However, the actual comet nucleus will be very difficult to spot so close to the horizon. But if the tail lives up to its astronomical expectations, it will stand out clearly in the morning twilight. In the following period, the comet will then rise a few minutes later each day before it finally disappears completely from our field of vision for a few days, until around October 10th. After that, however, we will experience a comet comeback that is quite something. From then on, however, it will appear in the evening sky of autumn, low in the west, where its steeply rising tail will once again beautify the horizon. On October 10th, the comet will set at 19.13, around 40 minutes after the sun has set. In the same breath, the celestial body will also reach its closest proximity to Earth a little later, the so-called perigee. On October 12th, the distance between us and the comet will be a cosmic stone's throw of just 70 million kilometers. As a result, the object will also reach its greatest brightness of up to minus 3 mag. It would then be almost as bright as Venus and significantly brighter than any star. After October 12th, however, it will already be time for the comet to gradually fade away. But at least observing it will be a little easier at first. Because while the sun sets earlier and earlier, the comet sinks about 20 minutes later every evening. According to current calculations, however, it will no longer be visible to the naked eye in November, even under the best conditions. Either way, the experts recommend taking a good pair of binoculars with you when looking at the comet. This is because the frequent layers of haze near the horizon can quickly turn out to be an unwelcome nuisance. In addition, the comet will be easier to see in southern Germany than in the north, both during its early morning phase and when it appears in the evening sky. Well, as long as it develops normally, of course. Because if the comet does break up or parts of its nucleus are lost, the spectacle of light on the horizon could end abruptly. Excluding this eventuality, the comet will have moved 290 million kilometers away from Earth by the end of November in order to set course for the edge of the solar system in the next 20 years and will not return to us for another 26,000 years. And if you want to return to our channel much earlier, 
you should definitely click on the subscribe button now. Become part of our community and never miss an exciting video from us again. We'll see you soon.